Zero emission by 2035. That's the plan for all new passenger cars in California, according to Governor Newsom. But there's growing concern that the state won't have enough electric chargers and other infrastructure to keep up with all those new electric vehicles. So tonight we're getting answers on what's needed to make sure people going electric don't get stranded. We have traveled 5,000 miles. Daphne Dixon and Alyssa Murphy just drove this electric Ford Mustang from the East Coast all the way across the country to Sacramento. If we had purchased gas, we would have spent about $900. Our charging was about 500 So we had a real savings there. But it's a drive many electric car owners are afraid to make. It's called range anxiety fear of running out of juice on a trip out of town. And it's one of the top concerns keeping more people from purchasing cars that don't run on gas. The key part though is the build out of infrastructure for getting charging stations placed at good intervals on the main highways. We need it to be reliable. We need to know where it is. Gil Tal with the UC Davis EV Research Center says that by 2035, California will need nearly 2 million new chargers. So just how much will it cost to improve electric vehicle infrastructure. We believe that California will need about $20 billion. Another key goal is to create more ways for people to charge up cars at home overnight. The beautiful thing about that is every time you leave your house, you have a full tank of gas, if you will. And we already are a good start because we have federal grants that are coming. Uh, we have state money. Uh, the utilities are putting money on, on it, uh, public and private companies are investing in infrastructure. Professor Tal has surveyed more than 30,000 electric vehicle owners and only found two that have ever run out of electricity. But if that does happen, he says AAA or other roadside help will still respond. He's actually putting you in a flatbed and taking you to the nearest fast charger. Well, President Joe Biden signed a law last year allocating more than $7 billion to build out a network of electric charging stations across the country.